Hello friends, let us start the third part of the vi video. Nazism and the rise of Hitler. We already done the first part of the chapter which was birth of the women republic now in this part let us start the second part of the chapter in our this third module of video here we will do hitler's rise to power in which we will do first the Then we will do the formation of Nazi, formation and the rise of the Nazi party and the influence of Nazis and later on we will also do the when the Hitler came in power how the destructions of democracy is there where we will do the fire decree enabling act special service agencies and security forces and then we will do the reconstruction of Germany by Hitler so let's start our this to topic Hitler's rise to power formation and as written here formation and the rise of Nazi and influence of Nazis Hitler born in Austria in the year 1889 he was actually an orphan boy and he was living when he was at the age of 10 years he was uh, living a very bad life a very dirty life in the railway junkyards where uh, German soldiers take Hitler to his home and adopted Hitler and this is how Hitler lived a military life Though he was interested in painting, but during the First World War he was enrolled in army and was doing the work of messenger and also got a lot of medals during those periods. But when Germany defeated by the allied powers, Hitler became very angry and especially after the Treaty of Versailles made him furious. And that is why in the year 1919 Hitler joined the German Workers Party but soon he took over the German Worker Party and lead this party. Not only he took over the organization but he also renamed the organizations as the German Workers Party and later on this German party known as Nazi Party. Later Nazi Party. In the year 1923, he planned to seize Bavaria in the north of Berlin and after this he start march to Berlin city which was the capital at that time but he was failed in this and that this is how he was arrested and sent to the jail.
After 1929, especially the banks, all the banks of Germany collapsed and people lost their job. There is a huge unemployment in Germany at that time. So that this is how we see people become very angry for their government, that is the Weimar Republic, and this is how Hitler used this situation in favor of his Nazi propaganda, his Nazi party, and he start his Nazi propaganda. Now what is a propaganda? Propaganda is a it means to create an image. So this is how he create the hopes for better future in the people of Germany. Before the election of 1929, means in the year 1928, Nazi party won only 2.6% vote. While when the elections held uh, in the 1932, when he was already used his propaganda, the Nazi party emerged the single largest party as 37% votes were win by Nazi party. So this is how we learned the formation of the and the rise of Nazi party and influence of Nazi. Let us do the destructions of the democracy, which is the first topic of the chapter. It means 2.1. This is 2. So it is 2.1 and this one is 2.2. Destructions of democracy in Germany. On 30th January 1933, the president offered chancellorship to Hitler. Though Hindenburg doesn't like Nazi party, but because Nazi party is the only single largest party, so he offered Nazi party means Hitler to become the head of the executive which is known as Chancellor in Germany. A mysterious fire was broke out in parliament, the parliament of Germany which is known as Reichstag. Some have said that this is done by Hitler so by, because now there is no parliament so for clearing the bill or to administrate in the par country what Hitler done is that he passed an ordinance which is known as a fire decree because this ordinance is introduced after the fire broke out in parliament so that is why this is known as fire decree and it was on 28 February 1933. According to this act, he suspended the, all the civil rights like freedom of speech, press and to assemble anywhere these all rights are now suspended in germany in sh means now what hitler is doing that hitler make himself more powerful As I said that Hitler make himself more powerful for that first what he do is is to start killing the people of other parties so that only one party can left in Germany and he start this thing with communist all the communists were hurriedly packed off to the newly established concentration camps concentration camps means those camps where the people were killed in the gas chambers
On 3rd March 1933, Hitler by passing, a, by passing an ordinance known as the Enabling Act. This was passed and by which by this enabling act the dictatorship was established in Germany because now Hitler is enabled to do any work in Germany and first of all he become the chief head CEO of Germany and remove Hindenburg from the post of presidentship. All the parties and unions were banned in Germany. Now there is only one party, one union and that is Nazi. He introduced some special surveillance, surveillances or the security forces so that he can control Germany. As like in India we have scout, guides, NCC etc. Different types of paramilitary forces also and forces of students also. Similarly he introduces many forces in Germany. Special security forces etc. are there. Like the Gestapo, it is a secret state police. The SS which is a protection squad. Criminal police and the security services SD etc. are established by Hitler in Germany. This is how we done 2.1 point the destruction of German destruction of democracy in Germany. Now let us start 2.2, .2, which is a reconstruction of Germany. 2.2 .2 is the the reconstructions of Germany. First of all, re economic reco recovery must be there. Germany faced a lot of, or we can say, uh, Germany faces a, a huge financial crisis. For that, what he done is there was a very famous economist in Germany he appointed that economist as a economic minister of Germany and give whole responsibility to this person the name of that person is Jelmer Snatched the spelling is this one so you can pronounce it according to that He appointed him with the aim of full production and full employment. Now Germany wants to stand on its own food, foods. So he wants to produce all the products himself and also try to give employment to all the people of Germany. They show, not show, I can say they give hopes to the people that now a uh, very lower people, the lower middle class people can also able to purchase or to ride the car in the super highways and the poster was posted in different streets of Germany on this poster ladies was waving on a car of Volkswagen Volkswagen sorry The next thing which Hitler do for the reconstruction of Germany is the the foreign policy of Hitler. First of all, he pulled out Germany from League of Nations. League of Nations was established after the First World War and the main aim of League of Nations is to solve all the problems of different countries here or to 
provide an international stage where all the dispute will be solved and now the world will not face second world war but when league of nation was formed it was totally we can see totally partiality in league of nations where the power was in the hand of winning countries only means allied nations and no power was given to germany not only power given to germany but germany was insulted in league of nation also and also no power nothing was given to italy also Hitler reoccupied resource rich or mineral rich area of Rhine river that is Rhineland area also known as the Ruhr region Hitler captured Austria because he want to rule in the whole the world whole europe and his main ideology was one people one empire and one leader one people means only nordic arians peoples will be there in in the world one empire means only one empire the german empire would be there and one leader only one leader would be there and that is hitler so hitler ruled the german empire the only empire of the world where only arians peoples will live the german speaking sudetenland area uh, please see the spelling this area was captured by hitler the sudetenland area comes in the czechoslovakia country and later on he captured the whole czechoslovakia one by one hitler doing all these things captured new areas of europe and increasing its power but britain was not saying anything to germany which was seen as the unspoken support support of britain to germany actually what british people thought that german face a lot of insult and whatever done happened in the treaty first list was not good for germany and it's really insult the people of germany and that is why britain was totally or i can say that britain was saying nothing for all these steps of hitler one day jelmer senaged the economic minister of finance minister of germany just advise or just give his advice to hitler that instead of giving spending a lot of money on war it is good to spend some amount or some percentage of our gdp for the growth of economy when hitler listened this he immediately terminate snatched from the post of finance minister so this is how what we see is that hitler doesn't want to listen anything which is not according to his ideology now what hitler do is that he choose war the way to come out from the economic crisis means to attack on new countries and take ho the whole property of a 
that new area and this is how he tried to come out from its economy by capturing the prosperous minerals areas of different countries and this is how hitler invade poland in the year 1939 which we can say the beginning of the second world war so this is how we see a tripartite pact or act between the three nations they these three all nations comes together and do agreement no which is famously known as the tripartite pact with the color blue you can see here this is germany on other hand this is italy and this is japan so three different countries of different part of the world they all comes together and that is why they are known as axis power these all three countries are known as axis power so one side there are axis power and on another hand there were allied powers of britain france usa and russia the next part is the attack on soviet union in june 1941 41 hitler attacked on soviet union this side here this was the soviet union at that time so he attacked soviet union in its eastern front the army of soviet union the soviet union was a socialist nation that is why the army of soviet union was known as the red army the red army defeated germany in stalingrad stalingrad in the west of moscow on one side they were fighting with the in means in eastern side they were fighting with the soviet union this is how they lost their power in the western side with france for example this is a map of germany so the red army entered in germany till the heart of germany so this is how the half part of germany was captured by soviet union this was a very important event because now the next 50 years till 1990 this whole western part of germany was under the ussr and known as the western germany the country western germany where socialist government ruled the country now with the help of map let us try to understand that here was japan and japan want to capture the whole asia pacific region means this whole region Pacific region is this region, this whole Asia Pacific region. So this is how it tried to attack on. Here are the Pearl Harbor, the Hawaii Islands of America, Pearl Harbor. So this is how they attacked on Pearl Harbor in this part in the year 1942, and this is how USA also entered in the Second World War.
This is how Germany support Japan and attacked on the Pearl Harbor and Japan and America also take part in Second World War. When America took part in Second World War, the Allied pa powers become more powerful and this is how in April, May, the war was ended in Germany with the suicide of Hitler. So this is how today what we done is the rise of Hitler, how Hitler rise up, then also we see the destructions of democracy and the reconstructions of Germany and then the end of the war. Any kind of doubt and problem please consult to me, send me doubt or you can visit to my blog also which is bipinbogra.blogspot.in. Thank you students.